This video is all about my kayaking stuff. I am not an expert kayaker. I am very much a recreational kayaker. I do it just for fun in the summer. I use my kayak just to putz around on lakes and, and on wide, slow-moving rivers. I do not have a performance kayak. I don't do whitewater. Uh, this is just very much a for fun kayak. And all of my kayaking gear is kind of reflective of that. So uh, I don't have anything too intense, too expensive, too hardcore. This is all very basic gear. So let's start off with the kayak itself. This is the Pelican Trailblazer 100 kayak. It's a 10 foot kayak. I bought it because it was literally the cheapest kayak I could find. It was $177 at Dick's Sporting Goods. With tax, I think it was $193. I don't think I even found any used kayaks that were cheaper than this, so definitely, uh, definitely a bargain kayak. It is a sit-in kayak as opposed to a sit-on-top kayak. In other words, you sit with your bottom here, legs go underneath this part here. It's got a grab handle at each end. On the front here, it's got some bungee straps so you can strap down uh, a dry bag or something. It's got this little dish area that I, I sometimes put my camera there. Um, you could put uh, your phone there also. This is the cockpit area. It's actually a pretty comfy seat. You can put a water bottle right here. That's what that little divot there is for. Uh, the backrest, I guess, is slightly adjustable with these straps here. If you look inside, there are these foot rests that you can adjust back and forth. So if you're shorter, you can bring them forward. If you're taller, if you have longer legs, you can stick them back that way. And that's just so that your, your feet have a nice spot to rest on. It's, I've found it pretty useful. On the back of the kayak here is a little hatch. Put stuff in. I've actually seen people online modify this by cutting this part out and removing it so that it's just a hole that goes down into the hull of the kayak. And so they have access to all of this storage space back in here. And that's something that I might do in the future, but I don't know. We'll see. If I need to do it, then I'll do it. Like if I do a multi-day kayaking trip, I might have to do it. But otherwise, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And back here we have the drain hole. This is just a little rubber plug. You can take it out and dump the water out that's inside. And that's basically all there is to this kayak. It's a great beginner kayak, it's very stable. Uh, I've never even come close to tipping this thing over. And it's just a, a fun thing to take out onto the lake. I really enjoy it. And like I said, I bought it because it was super cheap and it got really good reviews online. And uh, for my purposes, it's it's been exactly what I need. Now let's switch gears here and look at some of this other stuff. Let's start with the paddles. This is just a bargain basement Walmart paddle. It was like $20 at Walmart. I think it was literally the cheapest paddle I could find at Walmart. You can see it's a two-piece paddle. Um, I don't really have much to say about it other than that it works. Uh, it works just fine. It has, I forget what these things are called, drip rings, is that what they're called? Um, but that keeps the water from running down the paddle and getting into your, into your kayak. This life jacket is also a cheapo Walmart one. It was $10 at Walmart. Works great. It's, uh, it's more comfortable than those $5 fluorescent orange ones. And I made a couple of pockets to attach to the, that, uh, the clip on to the straps here. I have one pocket here and then it's not currently on, but I usually have another pocket right here so I can put my phone in there or a snack or something. And yeah, it's a adult universal life jacket. This is a piece of pool noodle that I cut to about, oh, about a foot long. And then I cut a slit 
down one side. And I did this so that I can slip it on to the side there and I can carry the kayak on my shoulder comfortably. Let me show you. Can you see that? It just uh, gives a nice little padded spot for my shoulder. Otherwise, it's a little bit uncomfortable to carry it for long distances. But when it's like this, it's, it's fine to carry. This little doodad is a paddle holder and it's removable. It attaches like that to the uh, kind of this lip on the edge of the cockpit. And then when I'm out on the lake and I want to store my paddle temporarily, I can just slot it into this little slot or groove right there. This black thing is a cover that goes over the cockpit so that when it's on top of my car, um, water and leaves and bugs won't get inside. Also, it's supposed to help a little bit with your fuel efficiency, your gas mileage. Not sure if that's really accurate, but I guess it makes sense to me. So it's got a clip on the front end here. Clip that onto the bungee. Put my knee down here. go. It's, uh, it's just got a stretchy cord that goes around the perimeter and so the idea is just that you need to stretch the cockpit cover and wrap it over the lip here. Oh dang it. Ah. Okay there we go. Crisis averted. This company ACK at ACK.com they make several different sizes for different sizes of kayaks. This thing also came with this buckle strap. Just a loop with the buckle. And so you put the, you wrap this around the kayak and uh, buckle it onto itself so that this thing doesn't want to fly up. It kind of holds it down a little bit. This thing did come with a loop here, but if you can see it, it, uh, it has torn. The loop is so that you can you have a place to wrap this thing, this thing through. So you put it through the loop and then wrap it around the kayak. I found that you don't really need the loop, so it's not that big of a deal. Here's the the rooftop rack set that I got. So these two things, this and this are what uh, are what I ordered from Amazon and they attach to the crossbars of my RAV4 here. So there are there's some screws here and these big uh, wing nut things, these plastic wing nut things. And these things just basically clamp to the crossbar. If you're on a long road trip and travel on a lot of bumpy roads like I do, you're going to need to, to check these periodically to make sure they remain tight on there. But they work well and uh, these were the cheapest ones that had relatively decent reviews on Amazon. I think they were like 25 or $30. Those racks came with these two straps. These are the back cam buckles on one end. These aren't the best straps, and so I added a third strap. This is a ratchet strap. You can see the ratchet here, and that just keeps it uh, extra secure on there. I'll show you how I use these two things in a minute when I put the kayak on top of the car. And then finally, there's this thing. This is a cable lock, 
and I use it to lock my kayak on top of my car. Now, the problem is that the kayak, the kayak should be centered on these two rack things, these two uh, kayak holders. The problem is I don't have a spot anywhere near the middle that I can attach that lock to. And so I have to attach it to the end here. And because this is so short, I think it's a six foot cable. I have to shift the kayak back a little bit. Anyway, you'll see what I mean when I have it up there. I think that covers all of my kayaking gear. Um, I'm not going to show you how I store it, how I store everything and where it goes in my car and then how I put uh, the kayak on top of the car. I store this green foam shoulder pad thing and the life jacket inside the hull of the kayak when I'm traveling. Let's see if I can do this without the cover coming off. All right. So those two things go inside, uh, basically just because I don't need them inside of the vehicle and uh, they take up space, especially the life jacket, it takes up space inside the car. And so it's just easier to have it in here. Now I'll put the strap around. And again, this just keeps the cover in place or at least helps keep the cover in place. The little paddle holder clip goes inside here and then the paddles just get slid on the, along the passenger side go alongside the seats here so this is about how you would normally want it to be the Kayak is roughly centered here between the two holders. But again, because my lock is so short and because this is the only place I have to attach it, I don't have a, a hole in the middle here. I know I could add one, but I don't know, it just seems like a lot of work, a lot of trouble. Because the hole is here, I have to shift the whole kayak back a little bit. This kayak lock, I think it was 10 or $15 on Amazon. One end goes through the hole in the, in the tip. And then around the side rail here. Then you need to have the keys to open it and lock it. So it goes through the tip there, through the side rail, and it's locked inside. I usually put this up here and then I push the kayak forward as far as I can. And now I can put the straps on. And I usually tie a knot of some sort in the extra tail that I have here. And now for the third and final strap, the ratchet strap. And then again, I tie a loop with the excess here, or tie a knot. And there you have it. From bow to stern, the kayak is ready to go, ready to be transported. And really that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions.